Hey vlog buddies, it's Saturday night and um, we have some important topics to cover tonight. So we're going to start it off with a uh, comment that Vincent left on, on the blog and he's seeking advice here. He says, I'm at a point in my life where I've just come out about a year and a half ago, good for you Vincent. And he sees all of his friends, straight friends in particular, finding people in relationships. It just seems like it's harder for gay people to find someone. Or maybe Boston just doesn't have a huge variety of different people and different sexualities. I don't know. It's just getting lonely and a bit frustrating. First of all, Vincent, <laughs> I do have to say that I suspect the gay population in Boston <laughs> is bigger than <laughs> rural Idaho, for example, where there's three other gay people in your entire county. Um... So, <laughs> I don't think it's a lack of variety. Um, what you might want to try, and I'm a big fan of this, is uh, meeting people online. And I know there's a stigma attached with it. And a certain level of danger, I guess. Uh, there's a risk involved. But when you create a profile online and when you're browsing other people's profiles, you're going to immediately know right off the bat what people are interested in, what they're all about. You get this like brief little snapshot of their life. At a bar, on the other hand, you might see someone that there's a physical connection with, but you don't know if that person's single, you don't know if they're looking to date, you don't know what their story is, like what their life perspective is, you don't know if you're going to be compatible. And though you can't really find all this out by looking at someone's profile, you can get a really good idea. So Vincent, my recommendation to you is create a profile on whatever gay meeting service, whatever you so desire, and, um, and message a few people and maybe meet them for coffee or dinner or something and, uh, and start that way. But there might be a bigger issue involved, and it reminds me of one of my friends that doesn't live in Rhode Island that lives further away and I've been talking with him a lot lately and he's in his late 20s and he's really afraid that he's gonna die uh, lonely and miserable all by himself and as a friend it's really difficult to to help someone through that situation because I mean you can say things like oh no you'll find someone like you'll be fine like don't worry you're not undateable or whatever but I also recognize that like uh, some people will live by themselves for the rest of their life and that's okay and it's not necessarily they're going to be lonely and miserable about it um it's just the reality for some people and and you know I'm not so sure that I'm going to have a partner for the you know rest of my life or whatever and I think you need to come to terms with being okay by yourself before you're ready to bring someone else in if you're looking to find satisfaction in another person because you yourself feel incomplete, it's probably indicative of, of something problematic in, in your life, and you might want to take a closer look at that. Um, and so I've tried to say things like, hey, like, you're always going to have yourself, and which should be enough, you know, like, let's be honest, it should be enough. If it's not, you'll have family members, you'll always have friends, you will potentially have children, you know, it, you don't need to have a partner in order to, to be happy. And, and if, you know, if you don't get one, then that's probably something you need to come to terms with. Um, so, so that's my advice to you. While we're on the topic of relationships, I have this book here. This is kind of cheesy. <laughs> my mom gave this to me in 1997 called Mothers and Sons and I just happened to open it this morning it's on my nightstand because in case you couldn't tell by the wallpaper and <laughs> frilly curtains I'm at my parents house um, anyway I opened this book up this morning because it was on my nightstand and I found this really cool quote and I was like I need to share this with the blog buddies it says I showed you the world through my eyes now you show it to me through yours, and so we learn. And though, yes, this works with the mother and son relationship, I think it's also, um, you can expand it to all relationships, and really isn't that the point of dating or spending time with someone, is that when you fall in love, 
you experience the world in a new way. And, of course, so you learn. And, I don't know, I just think that that uh, really speaks volumes to relationships and that you guys might appreciate that. So, Vincent, good luck with dating in Boston and whatever happens, happens, and I'm sure it will be delightful. Um, I don't really have too many updates for you guys. I went to Ikea yesterday, which is completely overwhelming. There was so much stuff. I have an entire condo to furnish, and I didn't even know where to start. And I suddenly had this, like, oh my god, I have to match wood <laughs> to, like, the shades of wood. And Ikea has, like, 800 sizes of everything, and it's all in, like, boxes. And I was, I was a bit overwhelmed. So I bought a desk and half a chair because they were sold out with the top of the chair. And uh, it's a start. <laughs> I'm going back on Friday. And um, tomorrow, one of my friends from Boston is coming up, and we are going to go to Newport, and we're going to tour some of the uh, mansions there, um, like the Vanderbilts and whoever else has summer houses. They're now open to the public. So it's going to be fun. And I think we're going to do maybe a hike and spend some time on the water and stuff, maybe canoeing. We'll see. It's going to be delightful. It'll be a fantastic Sunday. And I have Monday off, so a four-day weekend. Don't be jealous if you don't have one. Um, so I don't think I have anything else to report to you guys. So I'm going to call it uh, quits for tonight. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. And um, yeah, that's about it. Peace out. Bye.